So uh, there's Steve Katz. You know, Ayala, I didn't get your last name. Ayala Twineman. Pleasure to meet you. There's LA. Uh, LA and LA. LA and LA. We've got the rest of our posse is kind of over there. <laughs> there's there's uh, Eric and Gary and Renee. So Renee, you're you're leading us. Can you dance dance across the intersection for us there? Don't hit anybody. See, you can pretty much do anything in this city. What do you think, Patrick? I have done everything in this city. <laughs> the right answer. So yeah, we're strolling up uh, strolling up Hollywood Boulevard toward the seedy end, I might add. This is actually the direction in which Hollywood Boulevard hasn't quite been uh, cleaned up and gentrified yet. Yeah, it, well, Times Square, well, Times Square is actually kind of like Coney Island now, you know? <laughs> what does that make Coney Island? Well, um, Atlantic City? <laughs> Circa 1978? Something. Yeah, so we've got, oh, look, there's, there's space for me to have a star. I could be next to Ginger Rogers, that would be cool. I bet she could walk in these shoes. <laughs> At the Guinness Book of World Records. So we're headed. There's the pig and whistle. I've got it in my sights. Pink sign, 12 o'clock. One block down. I know. So there's a great sushi restaurant down here on the left called Geisha House. And the first time I ate there, Hugh Hefner was in there with like a dozen women who have more silicon in their bodies than there is in all of Silicon Valley. The best restaurant for not eating. No, they didn't eat. They and they all looked a little bit angry, and I think it's because they've been starving themselves since they were 14. <laughs> like if I hadn't eaten since I was 14, I'd be pretty pissed off too. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that was Ella Fitzgerald's star right there. What? What's my Twitter name? Kathy Brooks. I don't know. I just followed you. Okay. Wow. Alexa. Nice. Full contact. That makes. Ow! K S. Hell yeah! So this is where we start getting into like Norman Carey. So Norman Carey was a director, because you know all of the symbols, yeah. right? So that he's a director, I think that is. Yeah. No idea who he is. Oh look, empty star. That's fine. I have no idea who it is we're meeting down here. Uh, Mabel, Mabel Talia Farrow. Well, that's a long name. Oh, here's another one. Kate Smith. I met her when I was seven. She was in the driveway. She was in the driveway of my house. No, she was singing the national anthem at a Flyers game, and my dad was driving her there. It was very exciting. All right, pig and whistle. Looks like every pig and whistle I've ever been to. This is great. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oop, wait, let's walk by and head directly to the people that we're going with. Here we go. All right. Follow. Oh, here we go. Nice. So, hey, everybody. Oh, hi. How are you guys doing? Having fun? Yeah. Having fun? Good, having a good time? So I think it's time to sit down and drink now, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. How are you, Adam? Great. It's so good to see you. You can say as many nice things about me as you want to. the best presenter at 1.40. And I actually didn't even really say anything. I just kind of bitched at people and told them to hurry up. <laughs> well, you did a good job at it, seriously. Thank you. I'm good at being bitchy at a, on occasion. You scared the comedians. I did scare the comedians. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come out and make a really bad vagina joke because I heard them say, I'm like, dudes, you so can't say vagina. It's like, I can say something mean about my mom, but you can't say something mean about my mom, right? Thank you very much. So we're going to talk smack about people now, so I'm going to turn this off and have a drink. You should do that too.